Hello and welcome to Shortest Trip to Earth. This game is a bit like FTL. I was going to start a new uh, a new game. Uh, we'll go to at the, uh, the the first star, the closest star. We'll start there. We need to pick a ship. Uh, so we have to get back to Earth. We're lost in space. We've just woken up from cryo sleep in the middle of nowhere, and we want to get back. Um, so I've got a, a four ships available right now. These two and a couple I haven't tried yet. This one I haven't tried yet. And uh, this one is new. It's a rat. A rogue rat. Should we try the rogue rat? We'll try the rogue rat. Continue. Okay, so now we got to pick our starting perk. So, fate points you get as you do a run. Um, so I got 43 fate points in my last run, which I have to spend all of them now because otherwise they get wasted. So let's pick a bunch of stuff to, to put on. Uh, we can get some extra explosives. Sure. Oh, four percent evasion is pretty good. What have I got now? Twenty-five. Let's grab that four percent evasion. Upgrade Gatling cannon. Upgrades the main cannons for increased firepower. New guns also consume more explosives. Sounds risky, but I guess maybe it's worth doing. Let's do that. Um, we want to get some new start resources. Extra fuel. Extra organics, extra synthetics, extra metal. What have I got left? Oh, loads. Some some exotics, some more credits. I can get accuracy and evasion. That's worth grabbing. I can get some more deflection. Yeah. Some more evasion. Yeah, man. Extra container. Might be worth doing. That's it. Sure. We'll do, we'll do all those. Start the game. Let's do it. A malfunction in our ship's warp drive has landed us in deep space. Stranded away from all possibility of refueling. Our only option was to freeze ourselves and accelerate towards the closest star. Five years later. Okay, so we're here. Um, we've got some modules in storage. Let's have a look at our ship. Okay, we have some modules in cargo. We have a resource pack and we have a, a new container which lets us go above a thousand metals. So we'll stick that in here at the back. Put it there for now. Can always move it later. Uh, right, our ship is pretty cool looking. Let's just, we just open this package. Let's open this package. Scrap. Yes. Where's our crew? We have eight crew members. Here they are. And uh, we have uh, some guns. We have this gun which is an Imperial Splitter B which looks like it's a Five explosives per shot, ignore shields, five shot, Gatling gun of some sort, two of those. And we have a death tail laser, big old laser, um, which doesn't use any ammo, but it does get absorbed by shields, so not quite sure why we have both of those. Kinetic and laser, feels a bit weird. Um, we've got a incendiary cannon which fires synthetics, which set fire to stuff. So we've got 30 power. We're using um, using no, we got 37 power. We're using 30, so we could put more, more stuff on. Here's two missiles in the, in the torpedo tubes. We have two space for uh, other ones. We could always craft a new new missile to go in there, but I think two is okay for now. Who's manning the guns? Um, at the moment, only one guy is manning this gun. We've got one person in the bridge. Oh no, one person on shields and three people in the bridge. So maybe it's worth, or if we could, that gives us more evasion because more people in the bridge give you more evasion. Plus 1% per skill point if manned. So let's have a look. This guy has two points in that. This guy has lots of points in that. And this guy has two points. So these two are not as important as this guy, so we can put them on guns maybe. This guy's got two points in guns. This guy has lots of points in guns. So this guy should be on a gun for sure. We'll put him on a gun. Uh, this guy can go on a gun as well. We'll put him on the other Gatling gun. Now, where's the rest of our crew? There's one in here uh, in the cryo sleep. Two in the cryo sleep, in fact. Um, if they're in cryo sleep, they don't eat food, so it's kind of a good way to get them. Get, sort, sort yourself out for food. There's a science lab, someone in the science lab creating credits, which is pretty handy. And what's he good, is he good at it though? Not bad, three points, anyone better? This guy's way better at science, so you can be the scientist. You can go on the guns. Get out of there. 
He's good at repairing, so you can be our repair dude. We'll put you on repair duty. So we'll just leave him in the middle and just tell him to repair. He's our mechanic. And we've got this guy who's good at shooting, not much else. So you, I think you can probably get on a gun, but maybe just stay and cry asleep for now. What's this? This is a uh, cryo dream recorder. Records users' dreams as Xenodata. Well, we might as well put you in there. Jeez. If you're going to be sleeping, you might as well be making us money. All right. I think that's good. Right, we'll save We'll save all these positions. And um, we've also got a dog here. I think it's a dog, yeah. Uh, but he can actually man stations. So we could put him on, like a, on, a, on a laser. But he will just randomly leave it. Um, to catch a rat or something. Is, that, is it working? Maybe he doesn't want to go on the gun. He can go on the shields. <laughs> Put him on the shields. <laughs> no, he's... No, don't worry. I generally just leave them to do what they want because um, they kind of don't do much useful stuff. Um, so, yeah. We got the position saved. Uh, now we can start jumping around this star system. There's a planet here, planet with atmosphere. Let's check it out. Thar 5. Eco harvesting is relatively easy here because the local ecosystem is Earth like and our harvesting technology does not need many adjustments. Right, let's, let's harvest it. Heck yeah. Our crew and bots eco harvest fruits, seeds, and eggs. Oh, loads of food. Lost a bit of fuel. Got some credits. Nice. Food. We need to convert the excess food into fuel. Gives us 12 fuel. Nice. Let's uh, let's have a little zip around. Anything around? There's something here. Unknown object. Organic objects. Mm, more organic objects. Bunch of dead bodies drifting in space. It's signs of suicide among the group, suggesting these victims. Or, there's a victims of slavers who reacted quickly enough. Oh. Well, we gonna eat them, I guess. 32 food. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, convert to fuel. Sure. <laughs> We're not going to eat them, we're going to make them into fuel. Here's a gas giant, let's see if we can harvest some fuel. Risks within acceptable range. Okay, fantastic. Only trace amounts of fuel from the outer atmosphere. We did get 41 fuel, but let's see if we can go deeper. We'll print some harvester bots. With some synth synthetics. Nice, 78 fuel, very nice, okay. Let's go around this asteroid belt and see what else we can find. There's another gas giant, let's get some more fuel. Let's stock up on fuel. You can never have too much fuel unless it's more than 950, in which case you can. That's all I can hold in my cargo. Okay, that's not bad, 94. We're getting there. One more gas giant to look at. Ah, dangerous harvesting, but very lucrative. Let's do it. Accident, oh no. A plasma reaction caused an explosion of fuel near the mothership. The crew is unharmed, but the ship received external damage. Five damage, but 100 fuel. Yikes. Oh, there's a ship though. The wreckage of a ship, let's scavenge it. Survivor found, we found a cat. Or is it a cat? Uh, yes. A sleeping Terran cat. She passed all decontamination proce procedures and is now an important member of the crew. But we got some fuel, got some metals and some synthetics and we got a cat. Hello. Little Bastard, it's called. What a great name. Oh, actually, this, this other one's a cat as well. It's not a dog at all. They're both cats. I'm going to put the cat on the warp drive. <laughs> So this cat will take control of the it's gonna go on, it's gonna go on the bridge. <laughs> you got a cat on the bridge and a cat on the warp drive. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Okay, we went to Thar. Let's go to Mai. May? Mai. We're here, there's a, a definitely a bad guy in this area. There's a planet here, let's check it out. Primitives. Planet is inhabited by a highly militarized industrial era insectoid civilization covered in cities and industrial areas we are still in scanning when the locals send us a warning to stay away from their property or else 
Hmm. Should we try and send some stealth bots to the planet? Let's do it. Oh! Oh no! Discovered and destroyed our scouting bots despite the stealth technology. Jeez! The locals launch a planet-wide nuclear attack against our ship from the ground. Jeez, these guys aren't fucking around. Try and catch some of the primitive missiles launched at us. Let's annihilate the bases. Let's show them that aliens aren't, aren't to be fucked with. Oh! <laughs> we underestimated the size of the planetary nuclear arsenals. Oh, fuck. And accidentally caused a nuclear winter with our retaliation against them. Uh-oh! Only a few pockets of survivors remain, and now the planet's ecosystem, along with the entire civilization, is expected to undergo a major extinction event. We also received some damage ourselves. Eesh! Oh no! We've lost our exotic as well, that's a shame. We've just wiped out an entire civilization and damaged our own ship. Oh man. Oh man. That was silly. <laughs> right, well, should we go and fight this dude? Let's go and fight this dude. Let's go into the red area and he'll. He'll come to me. A single medium-sized Rat Empire ship is approaching. Okay. Alien vessel. I'm a rat. I'm a rat ship too. We're not paying these guys. We're gonna fight them. Another small ship joins them. Oh dear. Okay. Crap. They're, be they're behind me. How did they get behind me? Shit. Okay. We're gonna aim everything at the big ship. He's got three guns. Laser, laser, Gatling. Let's take out the Gatling first. Okay, so I've set all four guns to shoot at the Gatling. The square is the area that they can hit, so obviously they're gonna be missing a lot and just hitting random stuff, but as long as the square is not off the edge, you should hit something. And uh, they got six shields. Shouldn't take long to take down. Uh, let's just see what happens. All the guns need to rotate, obviously. Firing an incendiary cannon. It's going to get taken out by the point defense. I don't have any point defense, I don't think. But the... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, we've lost our shield generator. That's pretty bad. We've taken out their two of their guns, though. Let's change, the... change to this one, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Is it worth trying to hit that and then we'll go for um, the reactor we'll put one of these bombs into this ship because I don't think it's got point defense let's go oh, I have got some kind of point defense what was that oh yeah there you go the rat point defense okay we've damaged them okay we've taken out their gun that's good let's stop firing that because that's quite expensive hit Everything against the rat main center ship. Go, fire, fire, fire everything. Go, go. Why aren't you firing? Resume fire. There we go. Boom. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, you're dead. All right. That wasn't too bad. Taking both out. Let's hopefully get some metals because we are low on metals. We got some. Good, we've got three modules as well. We've got lots of metal. Good, good. So let's see what we got. We got a command bridge type solitary. Don't want that. Scrap it. Uh, custom energy reactor unstable. We could probably just plonk that down here. Give us some more power. Why not? This one, though, is going to get scrapped. Don't want an unstable reactor. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep it like this for now. We have filled up all our module slots, but we could probably get rid of that reactor again at some point since we are way over the uh, power needed. Have we checked out this this asteroid belt yet? Let's check that out. Low value asteroids. Minor risk of getting hit by some of the faster rocks. We'll prospect them. Asteroid collision. Ouch. Well, that wasn't worth it, was it? That was not worth it at all. Just 2 HP for that. It's a lot. That's, that's got less metal than it's going to cost to fix it. I think we might have seen everything in this in this star system, so we're going to jump to the next sector. We're going to go to we've got we've got to go to all of them, so it doesn't really matter which way we do it. Let's go to Arara. Arara. 
Okay, there's an approaching ship, a rat empire ship. Uh, some kind of robust auxiliary jamming system, blah, 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 blah. We can probably take these guys out. Get out of here. Okay. Let's see. Two kind of mediocre ships. Um, let's fire. Have they got any point defense? No. Are these guys? No. Okay, let's stick the big bomb on this guy. And the rest of it can just take everything out from this guy ASAP. Fire at will! Kablamo! Took out whatever that is, the printed engine. Everything's just dying on that ship. Oh, look at it go! Very nice. Uh, is there a way to stop it from firing? Oh yeah, there we go. I can turn it off. I've actually completely destroyed their gun, so... I mean, they are, they're done for. Boom. Simple. That was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Our utility bots have salvaged all resources from the battlefield. We've got three modules, bunch of stuff. Fantastic. What did we get? A printed engine. Is that better or worse than ours? We've got an outdated engine. Uh, 10 speed, 18, 10, sorry, 10 evasion, 18 speed, one armor, two power, 35 fuel. Mm, it's not as good. It's not as good. It uses less fuel, but it uses more power, has less evasion, and hasn't got any armor. So we'll scrap that. Boom. What are these? Micro reactors. Two more micro reactors. Oh, we do ne not need them. We have so many reactors right now. Uh, we'll scrap both of them. Let's have a look at the star we just reached. There's a space station with mercenaries. Docking. Can buy and sell things. Okay. Look at that. We've got 11 exotics. We're actually pretty exotically rich. Um, there's no modules for sale, but there is some exotic packs. What could we sell? Is there anything worth selling? We could probably sell some synthetics. We've probably got plenty of them. Let's sell a few synthetics. Sure. Uh, we can repair. A bit damaged, 75 credits. Why not? We'll fix it. We'll fix the ship. Fully repaired. Any crew members we can buy? Oh, there's this guy. Look at this guy. He's a drone. He's a flamethrower drone. Hmm. Not, not convinced. There's a there's a bloody ice man here. Oh, he's really good at the bridge and good at science and the warp drive. Wow, that's a good guy. It's good to have someone on the bridge with extra evasion. I think I think I might buy this guy. This guy's pretty pretty good all rounder. He's good at sensors as well. I, have I got anyone on the sensors? No. Ooh, this guy's good at sensors too. Okay, we can we can afford to we can afford to buy um buy these guys. Get another 100 credits, we can buy another guy actually. And it's going to cost us organics. But if we sell. Wait, how much does it. I, can, I could get. I can get nearly 400 credits from those exotics. I don't use them for much at the moment. But maybe. Um, maybe just sell four of them. Or five. That should actually give us enough to buy old. Old Sensory Boy here. There we go. We've got two new crew members, guys. Freaking great. Let's have a look on our ship. Here is this guy is going to be our science officer, I guess, or, or pilot. Look at that. It's so good. Wait, so 53 evasion without him. With him, 48. So he's given us 4% evasion. It's not bad. And this guy, uh, where is he? This guy's okay at sensors. Let's just see the difference between these two, because this guy is better at sensors. I think. One, two, three, four, five, four. Yeah. Let's put him on the bridge. Gives us a 56 evasion. 51. Okay, it is definitely better. Okay, Krut. You're going to go and be our sensor boy. Get on the non combat sensor. MKLA. MKLA, what a garbage one. Ugh. It's all cracked. I'm going to check this planet out. Module mouth. Hang on, I just saw something say module malfunction fire in ship. Well, anyway, we'll uh, check that out in a sec. I think it's probably got put out. The planet is a colony of the Tree Friends, a philosophic society comprised of various species joined by, 
by reverence of plant life and trees. The galactic community tends to make sexual jokes about them and plants. Wow. I'm not surprised. They're like they're like tree furries, but they've gone really way too far. Um, and literally made a whole colony on a planet. We land at the visitor, visitor center of the colony. Their representative welcomes us to freely explore the colony and meet their tree. The ancient organism is estimated to be 80,000 years old. Oh, we should cut it down for wood. The locals provided um, proved to be friendly and ready to share various sensual pleasures. They did not want anything from us except to hear our opinions and talk about life. Everybody felt energized by the visit. Many decided they'd like to return someday. The locals gave us a package of edibles. Oh jeez, better not eat them. Not on, not on duty anyway. Plus some local fruits as a farewell gift. Thank you, tree friends. Uh, an organics package. All right. How much do we get in there? 100 organics. Okay, we'll save that for when we're hungry. Fabulous, where's the fire? There wasn't one. Maybe it got put out. The tree friends are very happy. <laughs> nice. 